So here we go, Mr. Bungle in the jungle, and it's Mary Go Bye Bye. Let's go! The shiny searchlights in the sky. Oops. There's a new god in the side. They said the map is not the terrier work. And then I broke my telescope. But that's the nature of the Oh, Beach game. Boys vibe, yeah, guys. have to play. Bring back the play. Some old uh, sprinkles of beetles. Bring back the fame. Oh. Oh. In case we come coming back to you. The deaths were fake, the lives were crimes. The resurrections are doing fine. I'll tell you what I love about this is this is not sequenced. Or quantized. It's all live playing. I love it. Okay. I was... All right. All right. Here we go. Video game escapades in there. Yep. My brain hurts. We're already halfway through the track. Shadow, their genre is yes. Okay, I gotta stop this here only because when they lean into this harder, darker, heavy metal, you know, uh, section, to me, what's a brilliant aspect about this is that we're used to hearing a lot of this, you know, in the more, you know, last 15 years, let's just say, just the recording of it, the intensity, the recording, the cleanliness of it and stuff like this. This is, this to me sounds like how metal was originally soulfully, viscerally meant to sound before it got a little more process. That's not a ding to, to good engineering. It's not a ding to you know, cleaner drum sounds, great compression and tones on guitars, so you can, you know, emphasize a different kind of power. But this is like, guys, set up in the garage, we got 300 people coming over right now in Quaaludes, and go. 
you know, at, at least in the 70s, those were the kind of parties we had. Anyhow, that's, that's what this reminds me. That's why I love, love, love this section here. Every Mike Patton work is worthy. Um, Mike Patton job is worthy gig music. Ink him up, that was funny. Very interesting crossover. Man. Like we walk through a grease, a, a cheese grater, and at the other end, it reassembles itself to something really nice like this. It's hilarious. What a great track. Bring back the shame of a man full of fear. Get on your knees, cause I'll be coming back. Shadow, God, thank you, man. That was really crazy. You know what? I, the, the the thing that made this like a whole trip for me was the fact that at a piece of music like this, you have to allow your brain to fill in uh, the blank spaces through theater of the mind. Like you, you attribute an arrangement, a part of a song or an arrangement, into your head, and what does that what does that yield? During the heavy, intense craziness, it could have been like you know shattering glass of some sorts, whatever it is you think of your head. For me, it was like. This song was like, here's a cheese grater. You know, one of those four things back in the old days, 1900s and earlier cheese grater. And the song started and started to push through this grease, the, this cheese grater and got really super chaotic. And then it all came out on the other end and all of a sudden it reassembled itself into what we just heard in the last minute. And that's a whole complete like musical journey. So obviously not a song that they worked on and say, hey, this will work good on the radio. You know what I mean? This is more like, well, it's, it's like what Mike Patton has always done, I believe, which is like, no, 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 no. I follow the school of like Mike, more like Frank Zappa. I write music that I love to write, and I'm not worried about chasing, you know, uh, getting on a, a radio play, you know? So you build that kind of um, unique um, underground following, which, you know, Mike Patton has done, and also uh, Les Claypool and and artists that really push those kind of envelopes, you know, and that's what this was all about for me, I think, you know, really, maybe, did I say that right? I don't know. <laughs> 